Welcome back to my channel. Solve the integer solutions of this equation. a squared plus ab then plus b squared is equal to 21. Hmm, so how to solve it? Quadratic equation about a and b. Usually, a squared, b squared, and the coefficient of ab should be 2. Then it can be written as a plus b all squared. So the difficulty of this problem is only that the coefficient of a b is 1, not 2. So how should we solve it? Now, first, changement. a squared plus a b plus b squared. Let's subtract 21 from the both hand sides. So subtract 21 is equal to 0. Now what should we do? Usually, we should regard a variable as the term of the other. That means, we can regard this equation as a quadratic equation about a. So now, let's do some changes again on this equation. Hmm, now, it turns into an equation about a. So a squared plus the coefficient of a is b, that's b times a. And here plus, I'm, I'm going to add a bracket, b squared minus 21 is 0. And now we should use the quadratic formula. a is equal to negative the coefficient of a, that is negative b. And then Add or subtract plus or minus square root of delta. Delta is the coefficient of a squared, and then minus four times the coefficient of a squared, and then times this thing. This is a numerator, and the denominator is two times the coefficient of a squared. So here is 1, so we have to write it 2. And we know that a should be an integer. Mm. Now, what should we do? a is an integer. So we can say that square root of delta must be an integer. It has to be an integer. If square root of delta is an integer, then delta should be a square number. It is equal to b squared times 4 times 1, and then times b squared minus 21. And it should be a square number. We suppose, we can suppose that it is equal to c squared, and c is a natural number. Now, simplify. b squared minus 4b squared, then plus 4 times 21. So what can we get? We can get that mm, negative, oh my god, red. Negative 3b squared, and then plus 84. It is c squared. Really nice. We got this equation. How to solve it? Now, c squared plus 3b squared it is equal to 84. And we can also find out that the coefficient of b squared is 3. So now, we have an idea. That is mod 3 on the both hand sides. 84. Hmm. A plus 4 it is 12. And 12 it is divisible by 3. So 84 it is also divisible by 3. And it is equal to 3 times 28. Now 84 divisible by 3. 
three times b squared divisible by three. So we can get that c squared is also divisible by three. And if c squared it is divisible by three, then we can get c is also divisible by three. Since three is prime, the c is equal to 3k. And then we can simplify this equation further. 3k squared plus 3b squared is equal to 3 times 28. Divide the both sides by 3, we can get 3 times k squared, and then plus b squared is equal to 28. So now we can get that 28 is not so large. We can solve this equation by counting. Yes, of course we can. I prefer analyze it first. Look, 3 times k squared, then plus b squared is equal to 28. We all know that b squared is always non-negative. So it is greater than or equal to 0. Then, 3k squared It should be smaller than or equal to 28. Solve this inequality. We can get that k squared. It should be smaller than or equal to 9. Since k is also a natural number. So write it here. k is natural. And then there are only 4 cases. 0, 1, 2, and 3. If k is equal to 1, of course, there aren't any solutions. Since b squared is equal to 28, mm, this equation doesn't hold. If k is equal to 1, 2, and 3, there are solutions. And I can tell you many, many solutions. I don't have any place anymore. You can do it yourself. For example, for k is equal to 1, I can show you the solutions. But for k is equal to 2 and 3, you should do it yourself by the similar way. Then, b is equal to 5 or negative 5. And a, what about a? In this case, take it here. Substitute it into this term or into our original term. That's also okay. You can find out that a is equal to negative 1 or negative 4. And for b is equal to negative 5, a is equal to 1 or 4. So this is a case where k is equal to 1. And for k is equal to 2 and 3, do it yourself.